What's going on guys, I'm a player here and today, as promised, we're going to be looking at my level 400 Warlock and going through all the gear and loadouts I've got on this character. I recently did a video showcasing my Hunter, of course, is my main, and a lot of you requested to see my Warlock on Titan as well, and as I said, I play all three of my characters pretty differently and they tend to have different gear that others won't have, and this video is going to be going through all my items, my favourite weapons to use on my Warlock, like exotics and legendaries, some of my rarest items as well, and generally how I've got this character set up. So my Warlock is pretty much used for Crucible in terms of what I use the most. Obviously not as much as my main Hunter, but I don't use my Warlock that much in PvE to be honest. I did quite a lot in Year 1, but these days I pretty much only use it specifically in the Crucible, because they can do some really ridiculous things with these abilities, so definitely a fun character to play. So if I'm ever not on my Hunter, I'll normally be on this Warlock, which is why you see most of his gear is tailored towards Crucible. So let's begin with the subclasses, and this is pretty much what I use most of the time, the Void Walker. It's a really fun class to use, especially in Crucible, and I pretty much always use the Void Fang Vestments for the really good Axiom Bolts. It's a very strong chest piece, and definitely one of my favourites personally. I've got the Focus Blast, also Life Steal, pretty much most of the Void Walker kind of regen health and Life Steal abilities. That's how I've got my Void Walker set up. Like I said, I pretty much hardly ever use my Sun Singer. It's a very underutilized class in Year 3. Ever since it's got nerfed in Crucible, it used to be pretty much the only thing you'd ever see on Warlocks, but these days, it's not very great. I'm pretty sure I'd only use it if I was doing a raid in hard mode and I want to self-res. But other than that, it's pretty much underutilized. And also, the Stormcaller is also very, very good in Crucible, which I tend to use if I'm not using Void Walker. It's got some ridiculous abilities, like the melee is just a sniper rifle. It's just crazy. And also, the super is probably one of the best supers in the game, to be honest. It's very difficult to counter a Storm Trance, so I do like to use this in the Crucible from time to time. Now into my primary weapons, you'll notice most of them are hand cannons, and there is a reason to that which I'll get into later in terms of my armor, but most of these weapons are actually hand cannons. I've got the AS Luna here, which is probably my best rolled one. Pretty solid weapon, even though it doesn't have that much range. It's only got the small bore and also luck in the chamber for those two shots, so still a pretty good weapon. We've also got the Talalok, which I think is still one of the best weapons in Destiny. It is so, so powerful, but very underused also. I feel like the people that know about it know how powerful it is, but you never really see it used all that often. I think a lot of people just tend to use the normal weapon that don't require having to save your super but if you do ever see this in groups where you tend to get wrecked by it because it's still a very strong weapon and i might do a video with it soon because it's so much fun to use but there you go that's a weapon i always have on my warlock for sure also got some amargo loops this one being my kind of average rolled one it's only got hammer forge and also icarus and danger close nothing too great there we've got a different clever dragon this is kind of like my alternate one just in case high caliber gets nerfed so this is pretty much max ability and also snapshot pretty good roll there's also the iron banner hand cannon which i'm still trying to get to grips with it's a very difficult weapon to use but if you can use it right it can be actually decent there's the palindrome which isn't the vendor one this is actually a personal one that i've got with luck in the chamber and also hammer forge my other amargo loop which i got recently which you might have seen a video on and this has got a ton of aim assist and target acquisition in terms of my specials, again, they're pretty much Crucible themed weapons, but a little bit more variety than just shotguns. We've got the Matador, which you've already seen. We've got a random Omelon Thesen package, which I'm still waiting for a good roll on. There's the Suzano, which is the Warlock Fusion Rifle. The Vacancy from Future Walker, which is a very good roll as well, which you could buy in year two. The Matador, which is my other roll, which isn't as good as my main one. This is currently my best rolled Longbow Sniper, which isn't too great, but it's my best roll personally. The Winged Word at Trial Sniper, and also the Wormwood, which is the Future Walker Sidearm, which is actually pretty decent as well. In terms of my heavy, we've got literally just a bunch of swords. I'm not really too sure why I've got all of these ones unenfused, but I mainly choose the Bolt Caster, which of course is the best sword for Crucible. This thing is so much fun to use, but the others are just kind of here randomly, I guess. There's also the Young Wolf's Howl, which is definitely a disappointment of an exotic. Could have been a lot better, but it doesn't really seem that efficient. Takes up way too much ammo, but I'm hoping to get some kind of buff soon. But there you go, those are my swords in my heavy slot. The Ghost is of course the same setup as my Hunter, so pretty much I've got one for every planet or different Crucible activity. Now into the helmets, we've got a pretty interesting set. This is the current one I'm rocking with now, which is probably my favorite warlock looking helmet, which is actually from the record book with no ornament. And I've got a different one, which I'm kind of like trying to re-roll. You can actually go to the book anytime you want and keep on getting new ones. I'm hoping for an internet and discipline one, which I'm going to get like a good stat roll for. That's my current helmet. I've also got these two from the year one raids being Crota and Vault of Glass. Now this Crota one is probably my all-time favorite for the warlock. I used to always use it back in the time, of course, when it was like relevant, but now you can't. So it's a shame. I've still never gotten rid of it, but I do wish there was like a year three version because it's probably my favorite looking legendary with a kind of like black void in the middle of the face it's just really really evil and of course it's based off the head of a wizard now there's also this one from charles i think got it from a gold package and also the astrocyte verse which i got recently from a random blue engram now this has got to be probably my favorite exotic helmet in all of destiny i have all classes i have everything in the game this is probably number one i just think it's such a cool design the kind of space effect inside and the lightning i really wish it was actually a good exotic so i could use it but i think it's also at the same time probably one of the worst exotics in terms as its perk i mean getting bonus recovery when you blink is just such a pointless idea i mean i can kind of see the aspect of wanting to recover if you're trying to blink away from someone but no one uses blink in year three you got nerfed so hard 
in like year one and year two. So it's pretty much a useless ability. I wish they gave it some kind of like Void Walker perk to make it useful, but as of now, it's probably going to take a backseat because there are so many better exotics out there. But still, definitely one of my favorite looking exotics, at least, has got that going for it. Now looking at my gauntlets, I've got a pretty bad setups for my legendaries, nothing really too special. They've got sniper and scouts, which I don't really use all that much. The exotics is definitely the best ones over here because I use the nothing manacles pretty much exclusively in PvE with these scatter grenades and the affiliate aspect, which is probably one of the most useful exotics in the game, but it's also probably one of the most ugliest in my opinion personally. I'm sure I found the giant kind of like snake and the kind of like black like weird stuff around the arm. There seems to be a trend in Destiny, all the best looking exotics and armor don't seem to have the best perks or performance. All the worst looking stuff tends to be really useful and have the good stuff, but either way, these are actually very, very, very good. Probably the most useful in terms of any crucible exotic that you could have for a warlock they give you fast reload for every single weapon type in the game also quick draw for every single weapon type that's pretty much like the blade dance have right there and that's the reason why i use so many hand cannons in my warlock because the faster reload speed and also quick draw is really good with hand cannons so it's definitely an added bonus that's pretty much why i only use hand cannons on my warlock with the affiliate aspect Look at my chest piece, I've got the Void Fang to give me a nade every time I respawn, and also superpowers your Axiom Bowls. Nothing really else I use all that much, I've got the Starfire which I sometimes use in PvE, we've got the Taken chest piece, this is the Record Book chest which I use with all the exotic gauntlets or anything else, there's the Iron Banner chest piece for Year 2 for the Warlock, and also the current Charles chest piece which I love the look of but it's got bad perks, and I really wish, one feature I wish Bungie would add is the ability to re-roll Trials gear with Passage Coins, the same way you can re-roll your Raid gear with Siva Key Fragments, I think it should make a feature where you can re-roll the trials gear with passage coins that'd be so much better and i can get my perfect perks on it in terms of boots there's nothing too special here we've got the iron banner year two boots or the taken boots some more raid boots these ones again i love the look of but i haven't got any good perks them so i can't really use them and these are pretty well rolled from the year three iron banner into my bonds again nothing too special this is the main one i use for crucibles give me bonus rep gains and this is for vanguard both the 400 and in terms of my artifacts i pretty much just transfer the memory of yolda which is the only one i actually use now on this bottom page, we've got the Timebreaker Sparrow, the Happy Horn, and also the classic Space Bus, or Birth of History ship from Iron Banner. I think it's still available these days, but definitely one of my favorites. In terms of shaders, I really love these two ones from Charles. They're based out of gold and black. Really cool, awesome designs. Also Arctic Proxy. We've got Super Black. We've got the Crocos from Sparrow Racing, like I said earlier. Glowhoo, which does look really good on some of the Warlock pieces, and also Shatter White. In terms of my emblems, we've got the brand new Eye of Eternity, which I'm using right now, which is from the Bungie store, the Black Friday sale. Really difficult to actually get things on there because shipping is very expensive and most of the things are sold out. But if you can get your hands on this, this is actually what you obtain. This is what it looks like in-game. Then we've got the classic Warlock emblem, the Ad Infinitum, also this one, which I think is from the beta, and of course my sign of opposing will. And that's pretty much it for my Warlock. In terms of ranks, there's nothing too special. Like I said, my Hunter is my main. So we've got rank 26 for the Cryptarch. 39 for the Vanguard and 31 for the Crucible and 24 future walkouts. So that has been a complete look at my Warlock and all the gear I normally have on this character, what I use them for, the roles and stuff like that. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be much appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next one.